The earliest record of ornamental feathers, not just for attraction, but also to threaten. In fact, the very name Epidexicteryx means display feather, and they're among the most bird-like of any dinosaur. trees is one thing. Stealing on the ground is quite another. Only among the trees can you be safe from the large predators like Simraptor. On the ground, a few feathers offer no protection. The first feathered dinosaur was discovered in 1996, but lots more would quickly follow. It suddenly appeared as if many dinosaur species actually had feathers, and confirmed what had long been suspected, a direct link between dinosaurs and birds. A link that can be found in the dinosaurs that lived here in the Mongolian desert 85 million years ago. This is Saronothoides. It's a member of the Trudon family, and we have discovered actual fossils of these dinosaurs sitting on a nest. It takes days to lay a full clutch of eggs, and until that's complete, this animal won't begin its brooding behavior and start sitting on the nest. With the Sauronithoides of foraging, this unguarded nest provides an invitation for predators. This is an Ovaraptorid, a bizarre looking theropod dinosaur. With no teeth, they were mostly plant eaters. But that doesn't mean it won't take advantage of a different kind of lunch. We know Ovaraptorids were mostly plant eaters because of some amazing evidence we have found. One fossil in particular was incredibly well preserved. Inside its body were small stones, gastroliths. Just like a bird, it had swallowed these to help digest tough plants. But when the remains of two unrelated embryos were discovered in an Ovaraptorid nest, it suggested that some were not just plant eaters, but may have been nest raiders as well. Thank you. 